Hello. So I bought two bags today. Two bags of probably all broken jewelry because it looks like see lots of like loose beads and things. And I spent five ninety nine each on them, which is far too much. Far far too much. But you just never know. So I've got this tray to pour them out onto, this bag to put broken stuff into, and another tray to put non-broken stuff in that some of it will go into probably a two kilo lot and some of it I might um, sell myself. So let's see what we find, sorry. There is a lot of beads in here. So I'm not too hopeful on this first one. It's pretty much all beads. But it could be something cool. And these could be sterling silver. That could be a gold chain. You just don't know. Right, this is one of those like uh, Russian bangles, Russian bracelets. You know, like Russian wedding ring where they like roll over each other. That is actually quite nice though. Um, it's potential. I wonder. Oh no. You can see like a little bit of um, a rust kind of mark on there. So it's not silver, but still something that I could sell. Lots of beads broken. Got some broken pearls. Is the clasp any good? We've got that was a pendant. I might separate that out into a pendant slot. It's a nice bit of mother of pearl. This is what interested me. That it might be a little bit too broken. Well, that's an easy fix there, but it's whether there should be a big bit of plastic there, which I think probably. Yeah, because it would look weird, wouldn't it? Without that bit of plastic there. So that's a shame. But that's a cool one for someone to actually fix up. We could do something groovy with that. Oh, that's a cute little hair clip. And we've got a whole twist of necklaces here. One with like a little bird and then a little disc. That's okay, I'm gonna put that in there. Maybe sell, but actually probably won't. Yes, this is not looking hopeful, this one. It is all broken. All broken. That might be silver. That's got potential. Looks quite old. And some beads. So I'll put that to one side as a maybe. And then we've got this little chain here. Oh, which is attached to that for some reason. Is it like a head dangly thingy? That's just weird. Not a fan of that. Some rickrack. What are you? You're wanting to be silver, but you're not. And yep. It's just all beads. Oh, a vintage necklace. The, the clasp is broken, but that's okay. So there you go. It's got a little bit of verdigris on it. So we'll need to put it in some ketchup maybe, but that's a potential. Something that I would be willing to fix myself. And lots of nice unusual beads. See, it's weird beads and some definitely vintagey looking bits. But nothing in there, really. So not the best start. We've got another pendant for the pendant knot. 
And I'll keep the badges aside, um, badges, the buttons aside as well. So I might do like a vintage button lot. Button, button. Who's got the button? There are some nice beads, like these are like Peking glass beads. So there would have been a really nice necklace in here somewhere. But hey ho, such is life. It's a shame there's a bit of plastic that went there. It isn't there. Because I definitely could have fixed that. Oh well. You know what? I'm going to push you aside. Because there's not much on that tray. Let's do that. So let's hoping that this is the winner then. Otherwise, I've wasted twelve pounds. Oh dear, a lot more beads. However, we've got a tangle of something, and that there is definitely something. That's a silver necklace. I can see. It says nine two five. I'm pretty sure it says nine two five. I'm going to get the loop. Loop, doop, doop. Yep, says 925. So in there, somewhere, <laughs> in that tangle, is a sterling silver necklace. And I'm guessing that's probably why it's in here. It's because it is so blooming tangled. We don't mind that. We don't mind that at all. Um, so you just undo all of the things. Undo you. It looks like there's some vintage necklaces in there as well. And there's a hook right in the middle of it all that's causing all the bother. And it's a multi-strand as well. The swine. Right. I might just give that to Mother to have a go at, but it looks like... So we've definitely got one sterling silver heart necklace there. There's a cute little 50s or 60s vintage one there. There's this that looks a bit like coral or jewel craft from that same kind of time anyway in there and another identical one. So that's all right. I've got some things I can sell in there. I am now up on the deal and happy with whatever else we find, thankfully. You really do want to let go at some point, mister. Otherwise, I'm going to rip you apart. That's what she said. And she meant it. Right, I'm going to put them there. They are going to be detangled at some point. Okay. What else have we got? There are some lovely big beads with the snake skin on. They are a lot of fun. They look like, yep, silver chains. So I have got some silver chains in here as well. Always handy because I have a couple of pendants that I can put on. Again, it's just because they're tangled. But that's cool. Silvery silverness. Got this. Right, we don't, obviously we don't like the cord, but the pendant's nice. We've got a few nice shell base pendants for the pendant lot. I'll chuck them beads over there. Another silver chain. There's these little charms. I think somebody was making an Alice in Wonderland thing because there's a little key with a little thing that says drink me. So, oh, that's attached to all of that for some reason. We'll get rid of that. And another broken necklace. Got another stray pendant, so that can go in the pendant slot. Okay. Ooh, we've got a spider. A bug. We've got a bug. 
he says something Hong Kong he made in Hong Kong it's probably 1950s or 60s maybe there's that necklace it's come loose got something that says Avon says an Avon necklace nothing wrong with that just not something I would sell lots of these beads got this which looks silver plated but that's quite a nice vintage plaited necklace quite like that actually is it silver or silver plate go on let there be some marks on there that would be quite nice wouldn't it oh that's amazon delivering a parcel no it doesn't say anything but still that's nice enough for me to sell Little charm of sorts on a ring. That will go into rings lot. A little horsey charm. Is it Amazon delivery? Amazon. Amazon. That'll be my nails thing. Thank you. Thank you, mother. Ta. Another ring. Necklace by Yida. Hang on, let me just get the door. Close it a little. Mum doesn't realise how loud her telly is. Y A Y I D A. Got all these barrel beads on them. That's a maybe, but I probably won't sell it. At least not in my shop, you know. Um. Ah. Uh, I suppose the ring has just come out of shape. It's um, a French jet necklace that will probably go into a vintage jewellery lot. I've got this whole heap of tin here. Are you a necklace or are you a belt or are you just... You just chain. Just chain. I can't see any tags or anything on that I'll probably just go straight into broken lot there we've got a horsey somebody liked horsies because there's more horsies in a bit of a tangle a little horse's head there and then a little unicorn so I'm sure Susan will probably be contacting me going I really love that unicorn can I have that And some more broken bits. That one's just missing a clasp and I've got a pirate dude. It's a little bit of chain. I'm looking on the chain to see if the links are soldered together. Because if they are, then that might mean a bit of quality, you see. A bit of quality. Um, it's all magnetic though, so it's not gold or anything. Oh god, more beads falling apart. A little silver tone heart charm. Is that potentially a bit of silver. It's a little pair of earrings. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Nope, they're not. There's a few pairs of earrings in here, but nothing exciting. And then we've got this, um, what looks like a bit of sea glass and a seahorse. Little pendant, so I'll add that to the pendant slot. Uh, bit off the back of a watch. Um, a little bit of silver chain there, possibly, possibly, possibly not. Shame, a pretty bit of chain there for a second. Might put that in a vintage lot though because it's a nice chain. 
various little pairs of earrings, beady beady beads, and then this charms for you, which um yeah, so like fake nomination ones, which I may try and sell, but it probably won't get much for them. But yeah, anyway, not a little go over there. So this is stuff that actually I might sell. So I might sell the nomination. This will go into a vintage lot as will that. I'll probably fix that up, but it'll go into a vintage lot. That'll go into a buttons lot. That I'll sell separately because it's a nice silver plated necklace. Um, those. Let me just check. Do quick checks. Do we do quick checks? Quick checks on things. Are you silver? Nope. Are you silver? Nope. Are you silver? Nope. Are you silver? Nope. You're going to go into a lot. Um, okay. So where was I? Little horsey charm will go into the lot. This with a little birdie thing that I can't be bothered will go in the lot. Right. So we'll have a little spider, he'll go in a vintage lot. We have this necklace, this sparkly vintage one that I will probably sell. And because I've got two, oh, they are slightly different. One slightly like wider, oh no, it's just more flattened. Hmm. I'll put one in a vintage lot maybe. And then we've got one silver necklace in there for sure and a whole tangle of other charms is pendant lot this which is an easy fix which I might do but it'll still end up in a vintage lot and some silver chain and some pendants and a couple of rings so, no gold, not hugely exciting, but at least there is a little bit of silver and some little bits to sell. That'll do. Oh, and obviously a whole bunch of broken stuff to sell as well.